I just got to know one thing. Are you ready? No, I said, are you ready? Hello, hello. <clears throat> so, as you may have guessed from that intro, uh, I got Mark 23. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is change my attitude from one Murakai's to another. Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of farming on 4-3-E, so I got her as a drop from that. SMGs. Uh, as for the equipment production, I was looking at the uh, GFDB right now, which I should show you how this works. This has a database of all the like different things that are producible and what their drop rates are from different recipes that people use. And so I clicked on the equipment one. Here's type 3 armor plate. That is the armor plate, right? Uh, Alright, type 3 armor, yeah. Uh, they used like the technical name for them, but not the type of thing that they're in the GFDB, so it's kind of confusing. But, yeah, so, if I sort by count, which is like the number of equipment that people have gotten from this, and then look at the mean percent, it looks like the best recipe is probably this one. So I'm going to use that one instead of the recommended recipe. Then I'll get that 1.3% drop rate. Like, there may be ones down at the bottom that show... Like, this one shows a higher drop rate, but it only has, like, 11 drops. Also, that's the... Tier 2, so that's heavy production. But yeah. Oh, and this must be the like special production so that one has a three percent drop rate but you can only do 20 per week so by the way i switched back to firefox for the on stream oh yeah using firefox for the on stream so it won't have auto playing videos so yeah it was uh 120 92, 60, and then 152. Oh, uh, my Spotify was minimized as well, so it probably wasn't updating for a bit. All my windows got minimized. So, let's try this. I still have not gotten a gold armor plate, so that's what I'm trying to get. If I can get a gold armor plate, that will be very helpful towards setting up for a 0-2 Corpse Dragon. I'm also not quite leveled to the point where I can do that yet, but probably pretty soon I will be. 
did a whole bunch of grinding yesterday. So these are approaching level 60 on my carries, Sapa 2 and Star. And then M16 is above level 60. Level 70, when they reach to 4x, is probably when they'll be ready for that. Oh, I should probably grab Squad 2 off of Logistics. So I think for now, I will probably aim to unlock Equipment Calibration. Maybe. Midnight 2-4. Well, maybe I don't want to go for that yet. That is something that I'll want to do, because if I get an armor plate and it's not calibrated properly, then I might want to calibrate it. But also I could go for a bunch of the uh, gold medals to get gems. Almost have enough to do another intermediate data. Yeah, I think for the early night battle missions, I might be able to do them. Let's see. I have M14, right? Okay, well, SP-98 is in logistics. I don't actually have any other raised rifles, so I probably want to raise M14 at some point. So that I can actually have some anti-armor. Oh yeah, they also gave me M2HB. And bar. Actually, Bar is raised already, so she's on expeditions. But probably soon I'll do night battles. I think in the next episode I'll try to do night battles to get up to Midnight 2-4. Also, I would need to actually unlock... Yeah, so I need to do emergency battles to even unlock that. So, I'll, today I'll go through the emergency stages, I think. And maybe try to get some gold medals on the regular stages as well, if I have time. Okay. Need to kill four enemies within three turns for the gold medal on this one. So that is all the enemies. I've not really focused on raising my second team, but it got the hand-me-downs for my first team, so it is relatively raised. Oh, by the way, I did swap M16 into my main team, which she wasn't at the end of the last stream. That's because I want to raise M16 for Corpse Dragon. Even though she isn't, like, the ideal off-tank for it, I just wanted her on there to get XP. Okay, let's do this for now. And then... Next turn, I should be able to... Finish it, probably. Okay. 
スーテー私たちの勝利です勘の鋭さが決め手でしたね Type 64 is getting MVP These are like super easy enemies so that's probably why Okay, I have barely enough action points to do this. I'm doing the emergency levels right now. Although I'm probably going to do some gold medals as well. Well, if I have time. So this is emergency 1-1. One, because one, I skipped over it before. But yeah, I was saying earlier that I want to unlock equipment calibration. Although I don't think I'll be doing night battles today. I need to do the emergency levels to unlock the the night battles. So actually, I don't even have equipment enhancement either. So I'm gonna have to do night one four and night two four to be able to unlock those for when I actually get a gold armor plate. But I think in the next stream. I'll do night battles and I'll have like raised some rifles and whatnot to be ready for that. Because at the moment my only raised rifle is the SV98 they gave me. Yeah, also, I did get Mark 23. I got her as a drop from 4-3-E. Oh yeah, I should still collect the... Um... Whatchamacallit. The special daily lug and reward things. For days 5 and 6. I don't think I collected it yesterday. Maybe I did. And then tomorrow I'll get another copy of Mark 23 from that. What is the gold medal on this? Four kills within four turns. So, kill all the enemies again. <laughs> Another thing that I should probably do today is unlock chapter 5. Because chapter 5 has some really good logistics. Like 5 2 is one of my go to logistics on my main account as well. 5 2 is really good. Uh, 5 3 is probably good for equipment tickets because I still need more of those. And that's the second best within the first few chapters. So, should be pretty easy to unlock Chapter 5, I think. Yeah, let's do it this way. <clears throat> Ah, 
最重だなんて言わないでください私たちの勝利です勘の鋭さが決め手でしたね指揮官様私Yeah, on my main account, I'm not really paying any attention to the contract drops from logistics because I already have plenty of all the contracts, so I only pay attention to the resource output, which I haven't really covered yet on the streams how I do the resource output, but I can like set a priority to, to each resource, and then this priority total column will show like a weighted payout of each mission. So like if I set all these to one and parts to three, then this will be like manpower plus ammo plus rations plus three times parts. And then that lets me know which missions will give the most resource payout per time of the resources that I care about. How much does it take to get uh, another echelon slot? Four eighty. I'm actually almost there. Uh, yeah, this one. Day five. Wow, I got T doll contracts. Hey. Hmm. They also give you an equipment if you actually If they gave an armor plate for one of those and I wasn't free to play, then I might consider. <laughs> but this account has to be free to play, so That's a uh, green equipment of some type. You can tell by the timer. Uh, yeah, that's a green cape. I don't know why it shows up as like yellow in here, because it's like green in game, but that's a four star cape. Uh, 51 is the timer that I'm looking for. So, wait, I did unlock chapter five. Right, okay. Was I looking at the Chapter 5 logistics last time? Maybe I was. If I actually do care about resources, though, then 5-2 is probably one that I'll want to do. And I am below cap on a bunch of resources now, so I might want to start paying more attention to that. It's partially because I've been doing a bunch of farming, and partially because my cap has, like my resource limit has gone up. That is like a soft cap. So this resource limit here is just the soft cap for resources, and if you're above that soft cap, then you don't get the passive regen of like one per minute or one every three minutes. 
but you can still get it from logistics. The only thing the soft cap does is affect that passive regen. And then the hard cap is 300,000 of each resource, regardless of player level. So past that, you actually can't get any more. At least, you can't get any from logistics, I think. You might be able to get some from, like, quest rewards or something. But effectively, 300,000 is the real resource limit, and the soft cap means that when you're above it, you don't get that passive regen. Six enemies this time to get the gold. So I have to kill all the enemies again? Yeah. I have to kill all the enemies to get the gold medal, which is obnoxious. Yeah, I think I will update my logistics to reflect the, like, resources instead of only contracts. So, I set the priorities to higher on ammo and rations. Parts, I always tend to keep higher because you get less parts for, like, the highest parts per hour you can get at all is 150, and that's, like, only parts on that logistics. Whereas you can get 260 of two of the other resources from one, or you can get like 300. So, in practice, also you get one third as many passive parts per hour. So effectively, parts are more valuable than other resources, inherently. But, you need more ammo and rations if you're going to be farming maps a lot, which I am. So I'm going to try these priorities. Uncheck all these. Um, I still want to do 4 1, regardless. Also, that is one of the highest payout ones with these priorities. I could do 5 1, but that's only half an hour, so I think I'm gonna not. I could do 0 1 for more ammo and rations. This one is only like 45 minutes. These are going to have like an hour, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. It's kind of awkward. But I could do that. Instead of this one, I could do 0 2. Zero 2 is generally a pretty good one as well, because it gives a lot of parts and it gives doll tickets as well. Not that I'm actually short on doll tickets at the moment. So I think I'll do that. This 
guy is obnoxiously placed. I'm gonna have to like send a squat back to kill him. Yeah, and that logistics table will be in the description of pretty much all of the YouTube videos in the series so far. You can, like, make a copy of it, like I did for this account, and then you can adjust the... those priorities and the selections and whatnot. I think I have not updated it for chapter 12 yet. I really ought to do that. So. <laughs> At some point I will add the chapter 12 logistics to it. Not that a new account would have access to those early on. But my main account does have access to them. By the way, I started doing chapter 12 on my main account. But I only got through like the first two missions so far. Definitely not a fan of the map design in Chapter 12 so far. And in a lot of the more recent content. It's, they're all like gimmicky. So you can't like strategize properly. I think the best thing to do on turn one is just this. Maybe I don't want to deploy a second squad at all. I usually like to get those extra action points, but if you don't take out this guy on turn one, then you won't be able to take a helipad on turn two. So you basically just want to do this like sprint for one of those helipads. I don't think it matters which one. Really. But if I recall correctly, it's the same distance either way around the loop. It's either... Yeah, it's the same distance. This map is like one of the longest like boss farming maps in terms of the time it takes. Basically the longest one from the first seven chapters, I guess. I think the chapter eight one is longer, but you hardly ever have to farm that one. Although, as far as boss farming goes, I might not even kill the boss this time. Not that I really care. I suppose I should go for the gold medal, maybe, but... I don't know. I probably am not going to get it because I wasn't paying attention to it at the beginning. They didn't make canceling planning mode so hard. Okay. Uh, okay, I got it. 
obtain victory within five turns and eliminate eight enemies. It's gonna require killing a lot more enemies. I don't think that's gonna happen. I can go back and redo it later for the gold medal. Yeah, I think the story of Chapter 1 Emergency is literally just, like, training. Emergency Chapter 4. I have to do Emergency 2 and 3. Nope. Somebody can be dummy linked? Oh, Galil. Do I have another Galil? No. Uh, I'll get another one at some point. <laughs> I don't want to use the core on her right now. I'm gonna need a bunch of cores to dummy link the AR team members. I probably want to go through my T dolls and get rid of a bunch of the ones that I don't care about. Might as well do that now. Because there's going to be a whole lot that are automatically safety locked that I don't care to keep safety locked. Yeah, G3 has a mod eventually, but I don't think I want to hang on to her for now. So I can basically unsafety lock all the two stars. Well, 1911 I'll keep. She has a mod as well. And she's 2x. Uh, yeah, I got Thompson. Although, I don't know if I want to raise her. She tends to be kind of mediocre for general use. Oh yeah, I also got <laughs> Kek PDW. The rival to Mark 23. Do I want to raise Ingram? Maybe. Hmm, x is another Grenadier, right? Maybe I actually want to use x Because <laughs> I don't have any better Grenadiers besides SOP 2. So, what I mean by CAC BDW being a rival to Mark 23 is that, like, Mark 23 always calls you darling. And then. That's her third voice line. And then. Uh, CAC BDW. She always calls you honey.
Yeah, I do like CAC PDW quite a bit. And then... Yeah, if you oath CAC PDW, then you get this one. So, <laughs> that makes it pretty obvious that she's like a rival to Mark 23. But, she's a relatively recently released T-Doll, so... I had already decided that Mark 23 is my favorite long before that. Also, Mark 23 has that uh, Murica aesthetic going on. Who's damage dart? CAC PDW? No, wait, I have to go to uh, Index. Yeah, it's pretty lewd. And then... Mark 23's default skin damage dart is basically just like a slight modification of a regular damage dart. Of a regular art, I mean. I think that this one is censored on EN. I don't know if the... Uh, CAC PDW one is as well. That's not the case for a few T-Dolls that they're censored on EN. That is also the case for G41. She has like a skirt thing on EN, which she doesn't have on the original version. There's also a voodoo you can do to uncensor, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, for Mark 23's original skin, and for a lot of the like oldest T dolls, which like she was one of the original ones, I think Mark 23 was, and there were their damaged skins were like modifications of their basic skins for a lot of them, but for like, her more recent skins, they aren't. Like, with that... Uh... That one meme that I was showing on the start earlier. This one. That's her wedding skin, and that's her regular versus damage dart on that. And they're completely different. Got this layout. If I want to, I could save manpower by cutting my second squad down to like a dummy squad. But sometimes I need my second squad to do combat, and I don't really want to swap back and forth. So for now, let's not even do four combats. Let's just do three combats and save resources. Because I'm not going to get as much XP from this as I would from a later level. Which 
if you're doing a lot of grinding, like I've been doing on this account, then resources do start to become a limiting factor for that. And that's why Corpse Dragon is so good, because it uses a lot less resources. Yeah, Mark 23's index number is 99, and I believe that they didn't actually have all of the ones in 1 to 100 originally. They, like, filled in some of them later. So, they had... I think, well, they had UMP 45 and UMP 9 originally. They were one, 101 and 103. Where's the AR team in here? They're... Ah, they're in the 50s. But... Like, Python is number 4. And she was added much later than the others. In that area. So they had a bunch of gaps in the index numbers that they filled in later. But now they're... They've like filled in all the index number gaps and they're just adding on to the end. The resident uh, science cat girl. Also, like, all the tea dolls that are cat girls, like, they're robots. So, like, they just have robot cat ears. But Persica is a human who has cat ears. Although I think canonically they're just, like, surgically attached and don't actually do anything. But, yeah. First... Persica may or may not be an actual cat girl. Yeah, I didn't get an extra action point on the first turn, but prevented that from getting all surrounded up in that area. So I wanna have six kills within four turns for this one. Let's do that. Yeah, 
め撃て撃て兵器の私期待通りよね。Yeah, I think for Mark 23's second skin that she got, well, like her first skin after her default skin, it also had the damaged art and the regular art be fairly similar. Although not exactly. They're like So like the pose is slightly different. I think it might have been partially like moved though to be edited from each other. They definitely have a very similar pose in them. Then she's had like three more skins since then that had different poses between the normal and damaged art. Actually, gonna get way more kills than I need. Looks like. Oh, oh well. Uh, I did not get Alpha yet on my main account. I haven't really paid that much attention to the new T dolls, although I look at them a little bit. A fuel, is that what that is? Is that what it's supposed to be like G fuel? <laughs> Her damage? There's someone else whose damage dart is like that, I think. Like one of the earlier ones. I think I've seen a damage dart that had like that sort of pose to it earlier.
Yeah, I've done some production rolls on the right up, but not that many. Maybe I'll do some at the last minute. It's not like I'm short on quick production tickets on my main account. That'll be a problem. They're still rather low level compared to my units. That is weird tiles, yeah. So they want her to go in the back row and have the other... So, like, AK Alpha's tiles. She buffs SMGs and assault rifles. And buffs up to two rows in front of her. So it's like they want her to go in the back row of a, like plus formation or something. <laughs> Which is... unusual. Also, AK Alpha's skill is unusual because it prior like yeah target priorities the closest enemy in like directly in front of her. So that could be useful in certain circumstances if you want to target prioritize a certain enemy, but. Seems rather niche. Uh, how many kills do I want? Four? So, <laughs> I'll get enough if I do this round. There's a bunch that aren't out in EN yet. Okay, so it was this one. 
four star rifle who targets enemies within five units range. Not well, five units would be like where a unit is the size of one of these tiles, I think. So that is a pretty big range. But yeah, it's like a rifle who prioritizes enemies closer to her, which is unusual for rifles. That's another one that could have niche uses if you want to target specific things. And then... DB-26. Uh, Machine gun who does, like, reload shenanigans. Yeah, none of those new ones really stood out to me as ones that I was especially interested in. So, they haven't been that big of a priority to get for me. I don't usually make a uh, Griffin Mon a big priority, trying to fill in my Griffin decks. So there is a quite a few holes in my index that I haven't put the time in to fill them out, like some of the boss drop ones as well. Actually, I do still want SCW, but farming SCW is such a pain. <laughs> SCW is very cute. Not necessarily very useful, but... Um, yeah, but you get her by farming chapter 8, like 8.6 or 8.4e, both of which are really obnoxious maps to farm. And let's see. Right, it's from the same artist as SV98 and SVD, both of which are also very cute. So like she SCW basically looks like it's an SV98 in SMG form. Oh lucky. I don't know how many runs of 84E I've done, but uh, not too many, and I haven't gotten SCW yet. Oh, yeah, what am I supposed to do for gold on this one? Eliminate eight enemies. Okay. I'm gonna have to kill a lot more enemies than I usually do on this map if I want gold. <laughs> Watch me, like, get SCW the first time I run one of those maps on this account. So I have her on this account, but not my main. That would totally happen. Do some quick repairs. Pretty sure I have enough quick repair tickets. Yeah, I've, I've tried the like para strat for that map as well, but. You get half as many, well not, maybe not half as many. I forget if you still get gold if you do that. In any case, you get less drop chances than doing it the regular way, and you have to wait out the parry cooldown, or like, switch squads around, so it's kind of clunky to do it. I feel like if I was going to farm for SCW, I'd probably just do the map normally. In which case, it's like a five or six turn map. 
that's a long time <laughs> compared to most of the other boss farming maps. I'm gonna take my helipad, jerk. <laughs> yeah, let me stun that one remaining enemy. Yeah, <laughs> both the SMGs are doing more damage than the assault rifles right now. But it's partially just because those assault rifles are not very raised. Uh, okay, I need two more kills. How many turns? Five turns. Okay, so I still have time. I need uh, to get ammo on my Echelon 1. Let's just do this. The other thing is that the Chapter 8 uh, Dreamer is annoying to fight. You've got like the same issues as you have with Chapter 7 Dreamer, plus an extra twist. Actually, kill the boss to get the gold medal. So <laughs> there you go. Data. I have to put some levels into SOP 2 with the stars skills, but they aren't. Uh, I don't think I did any of the intermediate data levels on them yet, so they're going to need a bunch of intermediate data. Chapter 3. What is the story of this one about? Okay, I think it's like a. Just like. We're cleaning up this area because there's like Sangvis. I don't know. Later on, the emergency stages have much more significant stories. I think, like, up until chapter 5, maybe, all the emergency stories aren't really significant. Oh, 
Bar instead of M16. I do have bar on the combat 17. No, I can't check it now. But yeah, I have bar and then four assault rifles. But it's the assault rifles are SOP2, M4, Star, and then M16. Because M16 is more raised than any of my other assault rifles. I think she does more DPS than any of the, like, Team 2 assault rifles. Just by virtue of being significantly higher level. Yeah, wait, what is the gold for this? Six enemies within three turns. So we need to kill... Three more enemies. I think I could actually do that. If I do this, then I think one of them will attack me. So, and then I'll surround cap the command post. Yeah, I did go through that pretty quick. I didn't show off my current data team. But I'm pretty sure that I have bar in there. And I did also start doing like the second tier of data because I have enough basic data. I think I also haven't ever shown capsule mode on stream because I, it just hasn't been capsule day when I've been streaming yet. But it's pretty self explanatory. Now we're starting to get to the point where the enemies are pretty strong for my second squad. Okay, so one of those should attack me. Oh, is somebody gonna like spawn out of there and cap the command post? They are! Re! <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, we're gonna lose. I could have put a uh, friend support echelon on the command post to defend it if I had thought of that. I didn't think consider that possibility. Yeah, let me cancel my logistics so I can reset up those. So I think I want to pull SB98 off of here. I'm gonna put somebody else decently high level on here though. The captain. All my other, like, high-ish level people are already doing stuff. So I think it needs to be level 30 plus for some. Well, let's try FNC for now. And I think I might also want PPK. 
for night battles. Although I'll probably raise Mark 23 for being the handgun on my night battle missions. Might want PPK for the other squad. Okay, so the logistics I was gonna do these ones. Can I do like four, one? Okay. 30 plus, yeah, that's. So I need a 30 plus T doll on here. Okay, well, I'll just, like, shove Gilo in here then. And have FNC on this squad instead. PPK on here, or is that the same one that I just swapped between them? Do I have multiples of them? Okay, well, the one that is raised slightly. <laughs> I have like three of them <laughs> that I'm using. Gems to buy another echelon slot now. Very nice. And I got a night battle equipment. That'll also be useful. So, how many gems do I have? I do have enough to buy another echelon slot now. Oh, they cost more after the first one. Okay, well, it'll take a while to get the second one then. But let's. So I got another. I think FN49 is probably better than SC SV98 for general use, because SV98 is a bamboo. It's a shame that, like, she's not really useful for anything, but she is very cute. So I guess I'll put her on here, and then we can shove in... various people that I'm not going to be using. I got a UMP-9 also, but I did not get UMP-45 yet. So, what's the third priority logistics? Probably like zero one, I guess. Leader level 40. Uh, hold on, cancel this. Okay, gotta shuffle them around. <laughs> then it works. I don't have that many raised tea dolls. Yeah, this is my 
data team right now. So I do have Bar on here. Bar is actually the highest DPS on there. And then the alternatives for M16 are going to be like other ones that are on there. And then the next highest is like level 45. So I'm pretty sure M16 is the best for that. I have not used my combat reports right now. I have a decent number of them. Wait, they don't even show up here, do they? I think they don't show up here. I think they only show up in the dorm inventory. <laughs> oh wow, I have elite combat reports. So yeah, I could use some of those, but I don't know if I want to use them yet. I might use those to finish off the push to like being ready for zero to corpse dragging. I don't know. Okay, so... Oh yeah. I was like, wasn't I like partway through this? But I attempted the first one and didn't complete it. I might want to not want to use the PPKs. I might want to use them to dummy link the other PPK. I can't safety lock from here. So just do the safety lock for now. Christmas tree. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do I want to get rid of some of these ones? Maybe. I don't think I'm going to use PO8 for anything. Probably not going to really use the those three star like ARs either at this point, but I don't know. Still no armor plate timers. This time, I will cap this teleport first, so I can have enemies spawning behind me. before deploying that, but oh well. I'm pretty sure that if you use uh, emergency repair, you don't get the gold medal. But I can mostly keep that team out of combat. Okay. 
Six kills. Let's do this. That'll get some kills and cap that teleport. So, if I deploy a support echelon on here to defend the command post, and then go this. I don't know. Actually, I only need six kills, right? So I don't even need to take that route. I could just go directly. You can theoretically get uh, training data from those random nodes, so if you are really desperate to get training data without spending some energy, you can technically farm those random nodes. But that's like certified, certified mad lad territory. It's not really something that normal people would do. In practice, training data is just like time gated by some energy. A new ringleader? Wouldn't it be like the same ringleader as before? Because we're on an emergency map. I'm pretty sure it would just be like a hunter again. farming random nodes. I don't know if people who are ranking tryhards would even do that necessarily. Because, like, I've done, like, relatively high ranking, but I haven't ever done that random node farming. There might be some people who do that and also go for high rankings. That would be, like, if you have a lot of time on your hands and don't want to have to wait for sim energy or pay for extra sim energy because you can buy it from the shop. This 
So that's gonna be six kills. Might be able to finish this one off on turn two. Because I need six kills. And I've gotten two. And I have four action points. So in theory, I might be able to get. Yeah, I think I can get it in turn two. I can do this. My phone is telling me that my logistics came in on my other account. Yeah, another thing about like preparing for night battle missions is that probably Bar will not be on expeditions next week. So like starting tomorrow, she probably won't be on expeditions so I could use Bar for one of my night mission teams. I didn't have as many action points as I thought. That's what happened. I thought I had four action points, but actually only had three on turn two. I was like spacing out and didn't even realize that it did the end turn in there. Okay, well, anyways, I got the kills I need. Good enough. I was awesome. Thanks. And I got another machine gun. She leveled also. Level 50. Not bad. So, I should probably put her on my data team as well now. Switch out this team. Put in Lemming instead of M16. Because how are you supposed to pronounce that? I mean, you could say LWMMG, but that's a mouthful. So you 
Yeah, there aren't very many two stars that are good. But Fleming is pretty good. PPK is up there. Um, those are probably the best two. Two stars. Like, 1911 has niche uses because she's the only handgun with a smoke grenade. And her mod is pretty good, but at that point she's technically not a two-star anymore. FN49 mod is pretty good as well, and I think she's decent as a two-star, but M14 exists, so usually M14 is a better budget rifle. But mostly PPK and LWMG are the ones that are useful for, like, general use. And I'm out of equipment contracts for now. Accidentally clicked on the auto battle thing. Probably going to take a while. Okay, let's put uh, echelon two over here, one over here. Yeah, there's other ones that are somewhat viable after the mod, but PPK doesn't even have a mod and she's already pretty good. By support echelons count towards the the gold medal kills. I'm not finding it that information easily. Well, in any case, I'll 
hopefully I support Echelon there to defend that helipad. I guess I'll probably find out if they count towards the S rank. Unless I get 9 kills between my actual squads. They don't count. That kind of makes sense that they would want you to use your own squads to get the S rank. You stay there. Yeah, there are some cases where support echelons can be useful for action points or for capping nodes. Like in that case, I was mostly just using it to protect the helipad so it didn't get captured. Because I would have lost an action point if it got captured. Second squad is getting a little bit outclassed at this stage. So that's another thing I might want to do between this stream and the next one is farm up my second squad a bit more. Which basically just means that I'll farm up more high level T dolls compared to the ones that I have in squad one. So then I need two more kills, or two more enemies on the map, so, plus some more spawning. So that takes care of that. That was a good flashbang. Yeah, besides uh, 1911 being the only handgun with a smoke grenade, 
M9 is the only handgun with a flashbang. So M9 is useful in particular situations because of that. And that's partially because handguns can have a faster cooldown than SMGs due to rifles giving them cooldown reduction tiles. So you can have a flashbang that comes out faster than a regular flashbang if you use M9. I think this is pretty much the last stage for now that I'll be doing. Sixteen enemies? Wow! like an endurance test to see how many I can get through before my squad starts to run out of HP. I need to deploy somebody on the command post, which I don't really want to. If I had a third squad that wasn't on logistics, I could do that, but I do not currently. So let's do this for now. Evasion dodged that one. Pretty sure I wasn't completely moved out of it in time. Definitely do not want to be eating too many mortar hits if I'm going to need to kill that many enemies. is actually doing more damage than M4 right now. So how many was it again? 16. All right. I'm going to need to have more enemies spawn because there aren't even 16 on the map yet. in my command post. Yeah, 
I don't think any new enemies spawned in this turn. Did they? I guess maybe no. Because we're still at 12 total. If I'm gonna kill 60 enemies, there needs to be more of them to spawn eventually. I had like one more action point because then I could have this squad move here and then have this squad come up to actually cap it. I think I'll just do this for now. So that they don't cap my helipad over there. Oh, I somehow didn't take damage on that one. I'm not sure if that if I was in the AOE or not. So just move this squad over to cap another node. Oh yeah, this is the one though, with a very confusing squad layout. I could like go up here, but I probably want to come back down eventually, anyways. So might as well just do this. I can afford to take a couple of fights with Echelon too. Alright, 
add a couple more spawn. Sure, just steal my uh, rations. Hey, somebody else has that squad. Let's just select like the lowest level one because I'm literally just using it to swap right now. I still need one more enemy to spawn. Okay, might as well do that. I don't want to end on the command post, obviously, because then I will win before I have enough. Uh, watch McCollum's kills. I don't know. Stuff 2 got slightly mortared. It's a core. <laughs> really want to end turn on the enemy heliports either because I want them to spawn enemies. At least one more enemy. Well, there's three. This should be all the kills I need. Yep, rip M16. Why did Hunter lock on M16 instead of the P5 anyways?
I got a micro Uzi who's actually leveled up. If I read that correctly. Yeah, she's level 50. So she's actually higher level than my stun, even. So... Okay then. I'll probably use her at least eventually, because she does have a Digimine upgrade that's pretty good. Until her Digimine upgrade, she's tends to be outclassed by other Molotovs. Might as well do that. Yep, still don't have any more equipment contracts. But I'm farming them from logistics. So, I think. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't really looked into 124E dragging yet. I haven't even unlocked it yet on my main, but I'm working on going through chapter 12. Uzi Mod has like fire that spreads between enemies, right? Something like that. Anyways, I think that's about it for today. I got through all those emergency levels. And I'm gonna work on getting ready for night battles for the next episode. So that probably will be day after tomorrow or something. We'll see. Whenever I'm ready. Hey, this song came up again. I always use this song in the intro. Yeah, well, Uzi Before Mod has, like, interesting tiles. By interesting, I mean terrible. And then she gets a terrible special equipment after mod to make up for her tiles being fixed. They're like, Uzi's tiles do not buff the ARs behind her, they buff ARs next to her, so they're really not useful. And then with her mod, they give her an extra tile behind her. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll be probably farming 4-3-E a bunch more. But I'll be leveling up uh, some rifles and handguns to set up for night battles. How many night battle equipment do I have anyways? Oh, I actually have a bunch. Okay. So, I can throw those on my assault rifles. Won't have to worry about uh, producing any. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So yeah, uh, that's basically it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one.